Hey YouTube, this is the Mill TV coming at you guys with another video. Well, yeah, he's good enough to rival gods, become a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra Instinct. But he never would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master Roshi. I'm going for Master Roshi, y'all. There's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, two things really, if you get what I mean. No way. But um. I hope that they mention that Master Roshi destroyed a moon. I just hope they I just hope they mention that. When Dragon Ball. Your game, old man, and I don't play. <laughs> anyway, when he was a hip young and Roshi studied under <laughs> I'll watch the episode. Master Potato. Mutaito. And a kitty cat. These masters of ass whooping taught Roshi how to weaponize his own life energy or ki. Similar to many real life Chinese martial arts, ki is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your ki becomes. Roshi can use his ki to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of awesome techniques. He can fire explosive shots, go buff mode, stun foes with thunder shock surprise, and even see up dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined Ooh, his techniques and created his own martial arts style. Turtle school. Creepy old man turtle school. Creepy old man turtle school. Roshi and a half chill. <laughs> turtle man. No, no, it's not way, about stop. beating people up as slow as you can, like I first thought. Turtle school or Kame style includes he knocked out Krillin tricky pressure fast. point combat to a phony drunken style, which, if you ask me, is just a missed opportunity to get wasted. By delivering milk up a mountain, plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple tools, and being chased by both sharks and bees, all while wearing a 50-pound shell, Roshi's martial art focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way. Except for one. Wow, that's something I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I, I keep forgetting that as well. Yoshi, uh, Master Roshi can't fly. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, even after centuries of experience. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed or the mysterious paradise herb, he's just shy of 360 years old. Damn. I'm just impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. Well, mistake that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess medically speaking it is quite impressive. Where can I get me some of this paradise grass? I don't want to be chasing tail for centuries. Good luck with that. But with all of those years spent honing his talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to developing one revolutionary technique. Yes! Yes, it's called choking the chicken. Ew, <laughs> what? No! Really? I can't see. I can't. I can't see. Um. No, it's the gum. I can't see Roshi losing. Now I can't get that image out of my mind. Hey, Wiz. What? Guys, I'm just calling this. Roshi destroyed a moon, and I don't think. Well, no, I know that Jiraiya can't handle a full blast attack like that. And we all know it. We all know uh, this is going to be an easy win for Master Roshi. That's just my opinion. Speed wise, might be a little bit equal, but I don't know. Master Roshi's speed is a little bit faster. He is really quick. Um, he is very fast. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I just can't see Jirai winning.